How is it? How are you doing? How is it going? Let me go a little backwards here. Yeah, I'm like in my driveway with the Jeep and we're going to clean the injectors quick. Okay, so I was watching this video from Scotty and Scotty was cleaning the, the injectors. He was using this fluid. Look at it. And we are going to do the same thing with this car at 126,000 miles. Instead of putting new injectors in there, using quality gas all the time, all the lifetime of the vehicle. We are going now. I'm just turning the seat heat off. Ah, it was on. We're going now. <clears throat> and we add this to the gas. Let me show you how that works. Let's take a peek under the hood and have a look and listen. It sounds all right though, right? But we are going to do this pre-active here. So all we're going to do is we have an empty gas tank. Oh, look at this. It's cooking on there. We have an empty gas tank. Yeah, our gas tank is pretty low. We see that low. Oh, we need to open this thing. All right, no big deal. There's a button here. You hear that? Oh, yeah. We're just gonna feel it. That's where it goes in. You can hear how it's sucking. Okay, now. Read this. the camera. Can I put the camera here? No. It's magnetic though. The camera is magnetic. The camera is magnetic. And then I have here my nozzle. There. open this thing up it has child protection on there i don't remember scotty having this hard time opening it up here and then filling it in the whole bottle And I don't know if it's going to do anything good or bad there, you know? I don't know if it's what it's going to do, but that's it. Getting this out. Put this back on, otherwise we get a check engine light. Tighten to click. And then, eventually, this stuff is going to come up here. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do and drive a little harder. You know, push that thing a little bit. Oh my God, there's coolant again down there. You see that? We have lost some coolant right down there. Where did this come from? Yeah, down there. There's coolant leakage. From where? I think it's coming from from the water pump. Absolutely. Jesus. Yeah, we have to take care of that as soon as it, as it gets warmer. Man. All right. So what I need now is. Yeah, I want to take my gas canister and get some gas so when I when I get stuck that I can fill this thing up. You know? Just in case. I can walk to the gas station. Yeah. I put that in the back. 
here. We'll see how that goes. We'll see if this keeps driving. Right, so now we're gonna drive a little bit and give it some RPMs. So Scotty showed us that, how that works by running it on manual in higher gears. So this would be the automatic first gear, means we do 3000 RPMs at the lower speed. Um, it's not like you don't want to do this in the subdivision, so you want to go um, somewhere on a highway or something. What I obviously don't have here. So uphill would be good. I don't have that. Deep snow maybe. So I don't know. Is this filming me or what? Oh man. Okay, so I'm uh, driving on the freeway now. Three and a half thousand, four thousand RPM, what is a lot for this engine. And um, yeah, waiting for the gas to go through there. Um, I'm using up plenty of gas. I can see this the gas tank, the needle is moving. I can see the needle moving. And then right now we do 17. A gallon, 17, right? No, now it's like a lot more, right? Because we uh, I had to take the foot off the gas pedal. I'm getting too fast. There's cars in front of me. But I'm going down here like for a few miles until the light comes on. And then even then I have 30 more miles. And then I fill it up with gasoline again. And then I made sure that all the chemicals I put in the gas tank went through that thing. First, it went through the filter, right, to the gas filter. That filter is what, in the gas pump. And then, after that, it went into the fuel injectors. You know, and uh, it spit out all the carbon on that. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. It's still driving. Temperature is fine. So far, so good. I hope I don't get stuck here. <laughs> 